In this video, I'm going to show you how I place a bunch of different libraries into a space using the $70 version of 7th Heaven. I'll be using the following sounds. A horn, trumpet, bass trombone, and tuba from Infinite Brass with the convolution disabled. This is something you can do with the solo instruments, but if you want to create ensembles with infinite brass, it's best to use the inbuilt convolution to separate the tones of the instruments, otherwise you'll get a flanging sound. So I'll also be using this library with its studio convolution enabled at various mixes to get ensemble horns. Ensemble trumpets. And a trombone ensemble. I'll use some LA Modern Percussion Roto Toms with the close mics. I'll use cinematic studio strings with the close mics. I'll use the giant. I'll use a flute, clarinet and bassoon from Westgate Woodwinds. <laughs> 
I'll chuck in some Piatti and a bass drum from LA Drama Drums. The timpani from True Strike. A snare from BFD3. free solo violin from performance samples. Now, first things first. We need to pan these instruments to where we want. I use Studio One's binaural pan plugin to do this. I want my horns towards the left, the trumpets towards the right, the trombones to the left, and the tuba to the right. I already panned the rototoms left to right in the instruments mix page. I'll leave the first violins on the left but I want the second violins to the right and the violas slightly to the left rather than slightly to the right how they were originally recorded. When an instrument has been naturally recorded towards the left or right, if you want it on the other side, it's better to use a stereo tool to flip the stereo image rather than drag the instrument across using panning. So I'll flip the second violins and the violas. And I'll leave the Chilean basses where they are. The piano has a natural stereo image from left to right, so I'll use the binaural pan to narrow the stereo width, then pan it slightly to the right. I'll leave the Piatti, bass drum and timpani where they are, but I'll pan the snare slightly to the left, and I'll leave the solo violin where it is. I'll be using the Sandor's Hall preset for most of these set to 1.7 seconds, but I'll use the Boston Hall preset at 1.7 seconds for the percussion because it has a slightly darker sound that complements the percussion better. Let's start with the brass. I'll be using the wetness knob, the early late knob, and the low cut knob to get the sound I want. I personally prefer a more traditional concert sound with less low end, so for most of the instruments, I'll have a low cut at 200 hertz. The solo brass instruments are very dry, so I'll pump up the wetness to minus 24 for these. If you lean the early late mix knob towards the left, you'll get more of the early reflection sound, which sounds closer, while leaning to the right gives you more of the late reflections and gives you a more distant sound. For the brass, I'll set it slightly towards the late reflections to push the instruments further back. For the brass ensembles, 
I'll decrease the wetness because I'm using the onboard convolution already for the instruments. Now for the strings. These strings aren't totally dry, so I'll leave the wetness balance at about middle, and I want more of the early reflections to get a closer sound. So the bases, I'll reduce the early reflection slightly to push them a little further back. The woodwinds are fairly dry, so I'll push up the wetness a bit and I'll lean slightly towards the early reflections. For the piano, I'll set the wetness near the middle and use more of the early reflections so it sounds a bit closer compared to the other instruments. Now for the percussion. I'll mostly use a slightly wetter signal and earlier reflections for these to keep the definition of the instruments. <laughs> 
And I'll do the same for the solo violin with more early reflections. And that's how simple it is. One plug-in, three knobs, and panning. For the most part, 7th Heaven does most of the work with its Fusion IR engine, while I'm left to focus on dialing in the sound I want comfortably. Let's have a quick listen back to this dry, then with 7th Heaven. <laughs> 
Obviously, if you want the sound to be less wet, you can pull the early late knob a little further to the left and slightly reduce the wetness for all the instruments. And that's part one. In part two, I'll be showing you how I'd place these instruments using two instances of Valhalla Room and an EQ for those of you who don't have 7.7. As usual, if you like these videos, consider supporting my work on Patreon or buying an album at Bandcamp. I'll see you next time with part two. Check you later.